Welcome back to Advent Adventures. Last week, we learned that we are loved by God's unconditional, never-ending, always and forever love. This week, our topic is joy. And joy can be expressed in so many ways. But my favorite way to express joy is by singing. So join me in singing joy to the world. In that song, we're singing about the coming of Jesus. And throughout the song, we're not only singing about ourselves, but others are invited to sing along with us. Remember when we said, let every heart prepare him room? And you know, even more, the things around us are invited to sing along and to praise God as well. If you remember the line, let heaven and nature sing, joy is a much deeper feeling than just being happy. Joy is deep-rooted and inspired by God. In the beginning of the Bible, we read about how God created this perfect place to live, the Garden of Eden. God created all things in space and nature in five days. And on the sixth day, he created Adam and Eve, the first people. He had created them to live in a perfect relationship in this beautiful garden and in relationship with him. Joy comes by knowing that God loves us no matter what happens. Because shortly after this, Adam and Eve committed a sin. And when sin entered the world, after they disobeyed God, joy was lost. Those feelings became hard to find because now feelings like death and sadness were, had entered the world. God's creation was no longer perfect. As we have learned before in Advent Adventures, God desires to be in a relationship with us. He didn't just give up on us and leave us, but he had a plan to restore joy that was lost. Joy was returned through the birth of his son, Jesus. Because Jesus was born, the true meaning of joy was restored. 
And joy, remember, comes by knowing that God loves us no matter what happens. Hallelujah. Turn to someone next to you and say, Hallelujah. Now there's a second meaning to joy that goes hand in hand with the first, and that's the action. The joy that we have from God not only makes us feel good, but it compels us to share God's goodness with others. And that's exactly what we're going to do this week. So take a look into your activity pack and pull out the bag for week three. In that bag, you'll find greeting cards and envelopes. The envelopes have already been addressed and stamped. And what we are encouraging you to do this week is to take some time with your family, fill out that card, and drop it in the mail. The people that will be receiving these cards are people within our Trinity community who need a little bit of joy, especially in this season. They are people who are not able to get out much, and they've either had or they're currently going through an illness or someone that they've loved has died this year. I hope that you'll take time and spread that joy with that person. The best thing about God's joy and all of God's gifts is it doesn't matter whether we know the no another person or not. We can share them freely anyway. Friends, it's been wonderful exploring Christ's joy with you this week in Avid Adventures. I look forward to seeing you next week. Bye.